What's going on guys, Nico back here with another Madden video, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a quarterback tier ranking, we're going to rank all the quarterbacks in Madden 22, if you guys are excited for the video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button, turn that bell on, and follow me on Twitter, it's top link in the description in every single video, I'm going to rank all the quarterbacks, and I think I'm going to do this every Monday, since there's not really too much content Monday, I'm, I'm going to go by position, so halfback will be next Monday, then, then wide receiver, then tight end, then maybe the O-line, Probably not, and then and we'll move on to defense. So, uh, and, and and so forth. So, I'm gonna start with quarterback. I'm gonna do this really quick. So, there's S here, which is the best. A, B, C, D, F. Um, and I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna rank them. I'm, I'm gonna try to do all of them. Hopefully, it doesn't take me too long. I know there's some guys that obviously won't be higher than D, but or even F. But we're we're gonna go through them. So, Corley Rogers. I'm, I'm gonna put all the Corleys here. They're just not usable anymore at all. Uh just not usable i probably should find an updated one but i'm gonna put that's actually to give the uh the pre-order paid manning we're gonna put him there too he's just too immobile Tannehill, stafford all right so that's all the core elites get him out of the way and now we're i'm gonna do the same thing with the team builders here uh trevor lawrence isn't usable anymore uh i wonder if i should do these as like as they were like a, the the meta in the game i'm, I'm not gonna do it. i think I'm, I'm just gonna do it for right now and uh we're gonna put daniel jones i'm gonna leave him there for now line art was never usable this lamar wasn't usable uh russ wasn't usable I'm, I, I think i'm gonna i'm gonna put daniel jones and stack i, I want to do it like based off the year like like obviously right now they're f tier but off the year these two guys were two of the best quarterbacks in the game earlier on in the year so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to do it. So I'm, I'm going to clarify right now. I'm going to put these quarterbacks ranked on the like where they ranked when they were meta. So Daniel Jones at the beginning of the year was obviously A tier. Stafford was probably B tier. And then we're going to go on. Uh, Unitas was always like a C tier quarterback. Unitas was good. He got, he got he had Cephio lead and a, a, a couple other really good quarterback abilities. Uh, Trey Lance. I never saw anyone use that card. Vince Young. So a lot of people use that card early on. You could argue he's B tier. I'll put him, I'll put him ahead of Stafford in B. Because Daniel Jones was obviously the best quarterback for a while. Rodgers, I'm going to put him in C. No one really ever used that card. He was just a little too slow. Josh Allen. A lot of people love this card. He was, was he the first Gunslinger quarterback? He might have been. Uh, Cam Newton. A lot of people like this card too. He was the first one to get a skateboardist, I believe. And uh, I'm going to put him ahead of Stafford again in B tier. Fitzpatrick, I never saw anyone use that card. Same thing with Tannehill. Uh, Phil Sims, I'll just put him in D, just since I don't really know why. I, I should probably just put him down here, but I'll put him in D. Brady, again, I really never saw anyone use this card. I'll put him at the top of C tier. He's the first quarterback to get uh, high round master. I'm going to put Phil Sims down there. I don't even know why I have him there. And Dan Marino's going to go in S. For his time in the game, when he was meta, he was obviously the best quarterback in the game. Sefi, or not, um, Sefi Lee, Pass Lee Lee and high round master, one of the best combos. Vic, this Vic, I, I, I could argue he's in C tier. I'm going to put him back of B, though. I, I, like, a, a, a lot of people really were so excited for him to come out, and he never really got uh, a guy used after that because he didn't get Gunslinger, and he had, uh, and he couldn't get both Escape Artists and Pass the Delete. We're going to put Zach Wilson second in A tier. That card, actually, Zach Wilson was the first one to get Gunslinger ever, and all, even God Squads were using Zach Wilson when he came out Rising Stars. Baker Mayfield, I've never seen anyone use that card. I've seen people use Derek Carr. I'm going to put him in D. He has a good release. It's just he got past the lead, and then that was really it. No escape bars, guns, or Howard Master, or anything like that. Herbert, uh, LTD, I'm going to put him into top of C. I, I played against him a lot. I didn't really have too much trouble against him, but I definitely saw him a lot. Winston, uh, never saw anyone use that card. Jim Kelly, his release is kind of awful, so I'm going to put him top of D, and, I, and pe people really didn't use that card. Mariota, people did use this card. I'm going to put him up here, uh, probably ahead of Stafford there, up in B tier. A lot of people use that card. He came with a skate artist on his card, and a lot of people wanted to use him. Mike White, again, never saw anyone use that card. Sam Darnold, Taylor Heineke, Teddy Bridgewater, all can go in F tier. Mac Jones, I, I didn't really see anyone use this card because he was really not good. I'll put him back of D. Carson Wentz, no, never saw anyone use that card. Joe Burrow, this card really didn't get too many abilities. I'll put him behind Derek Carr in D tier. Roethlisberger, another quarterback. We got Howard Master. Uh, I'll put him back of C. I played against him a couple times. 
Uh, Teddy Bridgewater. He gets past lead elite, I think. Um, I'll put him ahead of Mac Jones here. Randall Cunningham. For his time in the game, when he was meta, he's he has a decent release. He got Gunslinger. He was mobile. Great card. Lamar Jackson. I love the Lamar Jackson. I actually have my best weekend league performance with Lamar Jackson. When he first came out, I picked him up before Randall Cunningham came out. And I had passed lead leader on him with Roaming Deadeye. He played really well. I'm going to put him top of B. I know a lot of people didn't really use his card or like his card. Uh, obviously, he's got the worst release in the game and the second worst, whatever it is. But he is extremely fast, and he can make those throws in the run. Blitz Jalen Hurts. I've seen people use him. and put him back of C. I've seen people use him a lot, and I saw someone actually go like like 22-3 and three in weekly league with him. Really nice. Taylor Heineke, Team of the Week. I never saw anyone use that card. Stafford. Now, Stafford's going to be... I, I should probably put him A, but I, I think I'm going to put him top of B. He got Gunslinger, and but he, has, he does have the Patrick Mahomes release, and he wasn't really... Or he's not mobile. So, I'm going to put him there. Now, Patrick Mahomes, I'm going to put him probably around here, uh, B tier. The card came out, and he just wasn't the best quarterback in the game, and people weren't really interested in, in, in the Patrick Mahomes card. He got Gunslinger, but still no one was really interested. Not the best release, not really mobile at all. Kirk Cousins, free card, got Howard Master and set few lead. I hated this card. I picked him up because I thought Howard, just having Howard Master as an end cat card would be worth it but he lofted too many balls when you set you lead they loft the ball and it like just it's kind of like a lob pass when you're trying to bullet pass it i hated this card i'm gonna put him back of c but i really do not like that card dak i'll put him at d i don't i didn't really see anyone use that card trubisky i have i have played against this card and he gets escape artist i'll put him again back of c plumber uh i'll put him with trubisky here i'll put him a little head since he's a little bit better this Cam Newton will put ahead of the other one. He's just a better version, obviously. Boomer, I see. I saw people use Boomer a long, a long time. He was on the Jets theme team, and obviously very popular theme team. We'll put him in A tier. Put him behind Daniel Jones. For the time using the game, Daniel Jones was better at that point in the game than Boomer was. There were other quarterbacks with him. Zero Chill, Joe Flacco can go there. Derrick Henry. Okay, so obviously Derrick Henry is going to go up to S tier, front of S tier. This is. The best quarterback in the game, you can argue, to this day. Kyler Murray. Uh, this one's interesting. He gets past Lee Lee and a skateboardist, but no gunslinger. Uh, I'll put him... Um, I'll, I'll put him here in C tier. He's just that mid-tier quarterback, not really too good. Jalen Hurts, though, on the other hand, right behind Derrick Henry in S tier. I'm using him right now, and he is really, really, really good. Jimmy G, never saw anyone use that card. Peyton Manning. People thought Protected was a glitch. I'm going to put him top of B. He gets Gunslinger and Hara Master. You can, all, you can put Protected on him as well if you want. Uh, he's all right. He has 53 speed, so he's just not good. Justin Fields. I'll put him a little bit behind Kyler Murray. Uh, he gets Skateboards. We're past Elite, past Elite Elite. You have to choose. He's a lot like the Lamar Jackson card. So actually, I probably should put him up there. But I feel like L Lamar is just a little bit better. Uh, obviously, Lamar is faster. Tom Brady out of position, zero chill. Now, I never saw anyone use this card, but I will rank it ahead of his other one. He got Howard Master, and he had 85 speed since he was out of position, technically as a scrambler. Romo, I'll put him top of B. People used this card for like three days after he came out. He was like 800,000 coins a day he came out. People did not like his release. He was slow. I used him for a little bit. I He, he was fine. He was just really immobile. Trevor Lawrence, uh, we can play bottom of C. Uh, I'll, I'll put him ahead of Trubisky. He gets set or uh, pass lead elite. Tim Tebow. I'm gonna put him. I, I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing. Put him top of B. And he has a bad release. He's a lefty, which I know a lot of people don't like. I mean, I can't. He, he can't change which arm is his dominant arm. But people did not like that he was a lefty. Bad release. Uh, he did get escape artist and gunslinger, which is pretty good though. Kelsey quarterback. Uh, I'm gonna put. I'll just put him bottom of d I, I didn't really watch anyone you i haven't seen anyone use that card and uh he didn't really get the best abilities playoffs josh allen i'll put like i should probably put him back at b i know i have the josh allen ahead of him but this is the time they came out this josh allen i'll, I'll, put, I'll put him ahead of t ball i'll put him top of b tier this josh allen had no use because the ability changed derrick henry and jalen hurts you were getting more out of their abilities than josh allen because they all get the same abilities and those two guys are faster and uh, Josh Allen just 
didn't come out and Henry's got the better release and Jalen Hurts this has the same release so there wasn't much use Russell Wilson this one's easy as well he is the best quarterback in the game right now you can argue uh and a lot of I've seen a lot of people switch to Russell Wilson because because of his accuracies uh as a quarterback so Wilson top of S tier for right now Herbert no one uses this card I'm gonna put him top of D tier He's, he's he's a 96 overall top in and, and he's the team of the year quarterback but the, the worst release in the game and the abilities just aren't there uh you can uh, again you can get the same abilities on henry wilson hurts even allen for the same amount of ap and they got way better releases nick Foles, i haven't seen anyone use this card i'll put him uh i'll just put him in d tier big ben tribute i'll put him i'll put him in a tier no, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm putting him behind Josh Allen. He gets Escape Artist, Gunslinger, and Hyrule Master. I'll put him here. Uh, right there. He gets Gunslinger, Hyrule Master, and Escape Artist all in this card powered up. But he's got a bad release. He's not the fastest guy at all. He's got like 82 speed power, just barely getting him Escape Artist. So, I don't really care about the Big Bang card. Uh, Bradford, D tier, awful card. Huntley, I haven't seen anyone use him. He gets a skateboardist though, so you can you can honestly put him there if you want. Baker Mayfield, I'll put in C tier. He gets Tower Master and Gunslinger, so I'll put him in C tier. This Joe Flacco, strong arm quarterback with Gunslinger. I think he deserves to be in C tier. I used him for a weekend league, got 13 wins. I'll put Joe Flacco there. Johnny U playoffs. Uh, we'll put him behind Roethlisberger and B. Uh, he is. He, he gets every ability. He's faster than Roethlisberger, but he's got, again, the worst release in the game. The same the same thing as Herbert, which hurts him. I can honestly put him in seat here with the other one, so I, I think I'm going to do that instead. Uh, that card's not good at all. Joe Burrow, Super Bowl quarterback for the AFC. A, a lot of people are using this card. I'm going to put him second in eight here behind the Josh Allen. A ton of people are using that card. I, I play against them almost every head-to-head -head seasons game. A lot of people like that card. And we have three Team Diamond quarterbacks, Vince Young being this one right here. And I don't see anyone using this card, so I'm going to put him bottom of B. He gets Gunslinger and Escape Artist, but I don't see anyone using him. Carson Palmer actually played against him today. I actually lost to him in Weekend League this past weekend as well. Uh, definitely just threw that game away, but he was all right. I'm going to put him top of C. He gets Gunslinger and Hyrule Master. Pretty good. And then Montana, I am going to put him at the back of S tier. I could probably put him at the top of A tier, though. It's either it's really one of the two. I'll put him up here for now. Uh, Montana has has escape bars, has gunslinger, 91 speed. I think he's really good. I played against him. Had, I had I had a I had I didn't have any trouble since I, I did get lucky. I got a couple of fumbles, but he definitely had a good release. He was playing well, and uh, I think Montana's there. So S tier: Wilson, Henry, Hertz, Marino, Cunningham, and Montana. Again, this is when the cards came out, not now. So if we're doing now, Cunningham we moved down. Uh, Marino would be moved down Wilson, Jones, Allen would be moved down And we would have to redo this whole thing If it was for now But this is for when they came out in the game This is where I'm going to rank them Again, Russell Wilson, Henry, Hurts, Marino, Cunningham And Joe Montana at the top So that's my tier list I can save it I'll, 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 I'll save it right here I, I can uh, download it right there So but that's it If you guys enjoyed the video Leave a like and hit the subscribe button Turn that bell on so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Follow me on Twitter. It is top link in the description always. But please make sure to follow me over there. I keep you guys updated on, on all the content that comes out. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.